Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed, and in this particular video tutorial, we will see what are the null values in SQL Server and how to identify and handle the null values. So, what is a null value? In SQL Server, the null value represents a missing or unknown value. It is not the same as the empty value or a zero value. A null value is not equal to any other value, including itself. This can be confusing when working with the null values in SQL. If we want to get the null values from a SQL Server table or from a data set, then we can write a where condition where column is null. Okay, And I will show you that in a moment. And similarly, if you want to get non-null values, then we can write another condition like where column is not null. And it is also important to consider that when null values are handled in the SQL operations, then the result will be always null. So let's move to the SQL Server Management Studio and let's show you the null values and how we can handle the null values. So in my SQL Server 2019 instance, I got a test database and in the test database, I got a product table and I will share the create table statement for the product table and will also share the insert query so that you can generate the same table on your instance as well. So this particular table contains few columns and it contains 1000 records and if you check the size column, so from the ID 2 to 5, the size value is null. Okay. And similarly, if you check the total orders from the ID number 6 to 10, so this value is also null. Okay. Now suppose if you want to get all the records where the size is null, then you can write a where condition where size is null and this will return you all the records where the size is null. So now you can see that there are four records where the size is null and similarly if you want to get all the records where the size is not null, then you can write a condition where size is not null then it will return you all the records where the size is not null. So there are total 996 records. Okay. So this is how you can write a where condition here. Let me just remove this one and I can re-execute the query so that it will return all the records to me. And suppose if you are concatenating two fields, suppose if I concatenate the product column with the size column, then if you will concatenate a value with a null value, then the result will always be null. And similarly, if you will multiply a records or add or subtract with a null value, then the result will always be null. So suppose if I add a new column here on the fly, suppose if, if I concatenate the two columns like the product column, product plus space plus and then the size column. Okay. And this will be like my new column, my new column. Okay. And if I execute the queries, so now you can see that, that we have concatenated the product column with the size column and we have added a space in between. So for all the rest of the records, the data seems good here, but for the records where the size was null, the final value is also null. Okay. And similarly, if I multiply the total price with the total orders, total price into total orders as total amount. And if I execute the query, then if I'm multiplying the product price with the total orders and if the one of the value is null, then the final result will always be null. Okay. So this is how that null works. And suppose sup if you are concatenating these two columns and if you want that if the size is null, then at least this value should come here and the final value should not be null. Okay. So how you can do that? So there are some functions which can actually handle the null values. So one of the function is is null function. So suppose if you think that the size can be null, then you can replace the null value with another value. So now what I want is that if the value is null, then I want to replace the null value with a blank string. So what I want is that these four records, they should be replicated as it is here because size is null. So I just want to add a blank string instead of the null. So how I can do that? I can use a is null function, is null bracket. The first input parameter is the value that you want to check like if it is null or not. And then if it is null, then after the comma, you can provide the new value that you want to give. So if the value will be null, then I want to give an empty string. And yeah, that's the thing. So now if I execute this query, then what it will do, it will replace the null with an empty string and this value will be replicated here. So now this is working fine. So similarly, you can replace the null value with any value. Suppose if I want to replace it with zero, then I can put zero here and it will just give this zero wherever the value will be null. Okay. So this is how you can just replace the null value with another value. So whenever you create a table, then you need to specify whether that column can be null or it cannot be null. Okay. So suppose if you want to keep the column as null, then 
either you can provide the value as null or you can just leave it as it is and it can store the null values but if you want that the column should not contain the null values like for example if you have a primary key then primary key should not contain the null values so that's why you can specify the primary key column as not null okay that i will show you in the next videos where i will show you like how to create the tables in the sql server but this was just an example of like how we can handle the null values in sql server yes yeah, so i will share this query with you and all the queries those i used in this particular video yeah, so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much